Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm studying, among other things, testosterone. And it, it, it almost goes without saying, the cause of low testosterone, for example, and of course, one of the, one of the ticking items is obesity. Guys, if I hear this one more time, I'm gonna bust a nut, no pun intended. Obesity is never, ever the cause of anything else. Obesity is always a symptom of another underlying condition. What can cause obesity? Eating the wrong foods, eating at the wrong time. Your body has developed over millions of years. We have an ancient genetic system. We have an ancient chemical storage system, okay? It was designed so that, say in August, uh, fall, you, you pick all the fruit off a tree and you start eating everything that you can because your body um, down-regulates some hormones and up-regulates others so that you can eat a crap ton of food and your body turns it into fat to survive until the spring, until you can start finding more game, the lakes uh, thaw and you can get more fish, all right? That, that's how the thing is designed. And it works wonderfully and perfectly. However, our lifestyle has changed and we don't want for food anymore. Now we just eat because we just eat all year round, all right? So obesity is a symptom of an underlying cause. Now, consider this. What if the underlying cause of obesity is also the underlying cause of, in this case, low testosterone? Okay, let me give you uh, at least one example. I, I had two, but I can't remember the other one, and I'm kind of winging this video a little bit, like I do most of them. Yay, improv. Um, Let's say that I have a rattle in my car door. I don't know if anyone can relate. You know, you're driving and, and there's just like this rattle. And what do you do? Well, you crank the stereo up, right? That's, that's like taking a medicine. So you're cranking the stereo up. And uh, so you associate loud music with the absence of this underlying cause, okay? Well, consider Consider the, the, the loudness, the volume of the stereo. Uh, the thing that you do to get rid of the rattle, okay? Um, so what obesity is this in, in the ideas of these people, you know, saying obesity causes this. Well, the cause of the rattle then is that the volume is too low. Does that make any sense to you? Okay, the rattle has a cause, but when the radio is loud, you don't hear the rattle. So you conclude that, well, if I hear the rattle, the cause is the radio is not loud enough, so I have to turn the radio up. Okay, that's exactly what they're saying. When you have a problem over here, that obesity is the cause. When in fact, it's actually a symptom of another underlying condition. And check this out. I have the sneaking suspicion that if you fix the thing that's causing the obesity, you might just fix the thing that's causing the other problem. For example, low testosterone. See. I know for a fact I had low testosterone. Because I was fat? No. Wrong. <clears throat> because I was eating improperly. And then when I chose to eat the proper human diet and ate at the appropriate times, when I accommodated my hormone system, I lost weight and my testosterone got better. Uh, so... It had nothing to do with the obesity. It was an association. But the cause of both the obesity and the low testosterone was essentially my syndrome X, which is poor metabolic health. So I just thought I'd pass this on today. Um, guys, obesity is never, ever, ever, 
ever the cause of anything else. Okay? Obesity is always a symptom of something you are doing wrong. Uh, it's like going to the doctor and saying, uh, doctor, it hurts when I do that. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> so if you're fat, then find out why you're fat and stop doing the thing making yourself fat. And you will notice some really serendipitous con uh, consequences because all of a sudden everything else in your body starts to get better. All right, guys. Have a great one. We'll chat soon. Bye.